<clears throat> oh, I kicked the camera. Son of a biscuit. There it is. What's up, people? What's going on? Josters, good to see you. Long time no see. Rhonda, always lovely to see you. John, what's up, John? How you doing? I do work too hard. Thank you for noticing. Um, but it's over. Peak is over. Peak ends in like three days. And then we'll see what happens. Your day is almost done. <clears throat> Um, okay. Well, I'll BS for a little bit, but I really want to open that some bitch so bad. How's Tina? Is Tina well? <clears throat> oh, I forgot a Christmas card. Hold on. My back is not killing me. I gotta find a good spot for y'all. Put it over here. Boom. There we go. That's not bad. These are all cards I have to sort and get put away in by team. I have too many cards. I have way too many cards. Um. Yes, open it. I can't take the high candy. It's good to see you, darling. I hope you're well. Tina is good. I'm glad to hear that. Don't worry about it, Wilmer. It got here. I couldn't believe they put it in that other envelope. That was awesome. I appreciate it all, too. I'm just sad that your card got a little bent. Um, Knew about the non-machinable thing. You don't have to make anything up to me, bro. That was a lovely package. I can't thank you enough. I love the card and the cards. Like you killed it, dude. I'm gonna have to, your next package is gonna have to be really, really nice that I send you. Uh, I lost my drink, there it is. You're working, don't work too hard. I hope it goes well. I feel bad for everybody working today, I feel like. I work every day. The machine ate it. Yeah, it happens, man. It happens. One top loader will, will mess the whole thing up. Camden! What's up, Camden? Mm. Coop! Coop in the house. Don't be sorry, Camden. You didn't miss anything. It was just a mail day. Some really good stuff, though, if you want to see some cool cards. They're, they're on there. You're off this weekend? Yeah. I got one day off, and I'm right back at it. But the week of Christmas, man, I have a bunch of days off. It's weird. I'm not okay with it. That's fine. You can fast forward to the good parts and just skip all the other stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. I really want to open this gallery. You're at 285? Well, that's two. That was two more. You got two more. Only 15 more, man. Um, I should be on for a little while, Lou, so I'll do what I can. I wish I had like a little sign. I might write a sign, put it up there. Rip it. I'm going to Orlando from Sunday to Wednesday. What are you going to Orlando for? Not that you need a reason. Orlando's lovely. Uh, yeah, Wilmer. I'm gonna have to get in on that. I, I really, really love playing Jackbox on Wilmer's channel. It's a lot of fun. Friday, not Wednesday. Uh -oh. 
just for Christmas? You got family there, or are you just getting away from the cold? Oh. I'm just happy Christmas is almost here. It's almost over. And then there will be a whole year of no Christmas, and it'll be lovely. I will really enjoy it. I will really enjoy it. Top loaders. I need my knife. Oh. Just for Christmas. I This will be the first jumbo I've ever opened. I've never opened... Uh, I am a Grinch. Just getting away from the cold New Jersey weather. I don't blame you. Cause in the house. Parker card breaks. Good to see you. What is Christmas? Never heard of it. Yeah, I can't freaking stand the holidays, dude. I just can't. Um, but it's okay. I will fight it for 364 and a half days. And then for about a day and a half, I geek out on Christmas. And then I don't want to deal with it again. Ever. But it happens every year. And I, you know, you go through it. I go through it every year. It's just kind of what happens. Okay, let me get the rig set up here. I thought that was a good shot. I wanted to get everybody's Christmas uh, cards. Sorry for the camera moving. This is an amateur hour production starring yours truly. I've never opened a jumbo. It says there's two autographs in that box. I feel pretty good about it. Lou Rock's in the house. Lou Rock is the king of gallery. If you're not watching Lou Rock's videos, uh, what was it, like two weeks ago? That's how far behind I am with everything, though. Uh, he went on a tear where every single gallery pack he touched, he just he was pulling fire left and right. It was, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful to watch. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe first-timers luck. Um, the art of collecting, it says on there. I really like the design. I enjoy gallery. I was always a big fan of Diamond Kings when I was young. And uh, because of the art. And I really... Luke, stop it. Don't spam my channel with that crap. All rise. I'm sure there will be a fair number of Yankees in, in here. I've seen a ton of Yankees come out of gallery. Additionally, I did no research on this. So I have no idea, like, short prints or anything like that. I didn't research any of it. I saw it, and I said, I need something really good to open today. And I went with it. I almost got Topps Chrome, but I'm, I'm sick of Topps Chrome. I think it was Topps Chrome. I don't remember. Uh, speaking of Yankees, how do you like the Garrett call? Oh, that's so sick. I can't believe you guys landed him. <sighs> the guy is not human. He's a cyborg. I'm telling you. It's not fair. Uh, I got mine at Walmart. Um, 80 bucks. But uh, Mountain Gorilla told me that the they have it online for $20 cheaper on Walmart.com. So if you want one, look there. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. It could wind up being worth it if they win championships. Hey, Jason. Good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? Uh, can't wait to open my Ty Cobb Proof Press Sheet Redemption. That's going to be sick. Have you gotten it already, or are you still waiting for it in the mail? Online is comparable to Blowout. Yeah. It, like I said, it was just kind of a... It was an impulse buy. It was there. What's up, Harry? How you doing, man? Uh, it was an impulse buy. It was there. They didn't have crap in the clearance, and I wasn't going to go to another Walmart. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to buy that. Oh, it's sitting in front of you? Are you going to do a video of it? Or are you going to do it on a live stream? 
or are you just going to open it? You know, if you just open it, everyone's going to feel left out. No pitcher is worth that much. Someone that works every five days only, no way. I can see Trout making that much, but a pitcher, no way. I can, you know, you make a very valid point. You make a very valid point. But if you have a team that you're pretty much certain is going to make the playoffs, that's when that's when the pitchers make their money. If you've got a guy who can go out there in a seven-game series and shut down two games, potentially pitch in a third, three game, like, you know, they get a lot of value in the postseason. That's really where a pitcher makes their money. Time to buy it when you see it. Yeah, I've seen it up there, but... I don't know. And I didn't, you know, I don't think Stryker did a, a a value series on this. So I don't know if the Jumbo is a good buy. I don't know. Who cares, right? We're going to have fun. It's going to be good. That's why I'm late, by the way, is because I was watching Stryker. He's doing 12 hours today. And I'm really looking forward to it. I miss hanging out in Stryker's stream. Uh, they can afford Cole for sure. If he can remember, then New York is where careers flourish. Or yeah, absolutely, yeah, that is a hundred and ten percent accurate. New York is a whole different animal. Like some guys can't hack it in New York. Yeah, Ellsbury. That's the that was the slickest thing we ever did was let Ellsbury go there and then do absolutely nothing. That was great. Trout gets four hundred million. But how many playoff wins does he have? Yeah, but one player, it's baseball, dude. He can't pitch and play the outfield. Like, that's because the rest of his team has, you know, fallen apart, old, or choke artists. Anyway, we got seven people in here. I can't stare at this box much longer. I am enjoying talking baseball, though. How much time do we have? We have like two months until spring training or is it three months? I don't know. I miss baseball. Uh, my point is pitching is where it's at in the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. I'm telling you, that's where they make all their value. If you can get to the postseason with a, a solid pitcher, if you got two really solid pitchers that can give you potentially three different games where they pitch in it, I mean, that's insane. That's a huge advantage. I don't think the heat is... I think the hitters have caught up to the heat to the point where it's great if you can throw 101, but you better have a damn good complimentary pitch. Like, you better be dropping a curveball off the table or changing speeds like a son of a gun with a changeup. Um, because these guys are hitting these these fast these fastballs. That the ball jumps off the bat now. Pop flies or home runs. Seems that everyone has... Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean, is everybody's throwing harder. Like, the average uh, miles per hour for a fastball is up across the league. And placement's very important. Arm slot's important. Important. If you can throw two completely different deceptive pitches out of the exact same arm slot, you're going to get a lot of guys out. Yeah, bullpens have definitely become far more specialized. Okay, let's do this. Keep the chat going, though. I'm enjoying this. I miss baseball. Sorry, Willie. Let's do this. Two autographs. It says no purchase necessary. See back for details. Has anybody ever done that no purchase necessary thing? Um, or you can just wait to hear the dude banging on the trash can. That's true too. Um, what the? Oh. There's a friggin' box loader in there. That's cool. I didn't know I was going to get that. Oh, here we go. Boom. Package. 
I like it. I'm excited about that. I don't think I've ever seen the box talkers. Box loader, whatever the hell they want to call them. Uh, deception is key. Orlando Hernandez made a career out of subpar stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Greg Maddox literally, uh, I mean, he taught himself to throw less hard and just be ridiculously accurate and deceptive. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see what Box Topper is. Now, some people mix these up. I'm just going for it. I'm just going to peel them right off the top. And I'm going to move this camera. Hold on. Try to get it a little knife in the corner over there. It's not going to work. There we go. That's better. <laughs> um, I like Dontrell Willis. Yeah, Maddox is the best pitcher of that generation. No doubt about it. Dallas. Good to see you, Dallas. Speed doesn't matter. I think it matters, but everything's relative, right? It depends on the batter. It depends on the situation. It depends on the pitcher. Like, what do you have? So, it is what it is. That's the beauty of baseball. Trash can over here. That's not a good start. Kikuchi off the top. That is not a good start. Kikuchi. I think he will have a better. Oh, this is a worse start. Freaking hate that guy. Uh, I think Kikuchi will have a much better year next year. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I am a tease. And I'm taking my time. Don't rush me. Hopefully you'll pull something good. Eh, I'll pull what I pull. If it's good, awesome. Where's all the women you usually have about to... Jesus, Harry. Calm yourself. I know you're over there trying to flirt with all those lovely older women. Uh, I have no idea. It's the holidays. Who knows where anybody is? All right, uh, Pedro Avila, it's a rookie. Here's my boy, Rafi Big Stick. It's a very nice Devers. I like that. Uh, Mitch Keller, rookie card. Don't know anything about him, but it's a rookie. Puke, there you go, Lou. Uh, my stream is not uh, match.com for sure. Hope you cleaned your finger. <laughs> I didn't. It's still a little bit dirty. I did wash my hands, but it's not clean by any means. There you go, Lou. It's all you, Bubba. Oh, there's Josh Donaldson. Newly uh, added name to the PC. I am officially collecting him now. Worst defensive catcher. Sanchez? Oh. There's plenty of half-rate catchers out there. Wilson Contreras. Uh, Brendan Rogers, rookie. <clears throat> Freeman. Oh, that's cool. Acuna and Hank Aaron. It's a neat card. We don't want him for defense, homie. Yeah. You should DH him and move him to first. He can't catch. Um, you yeah, know, it is what it is. Depends on the pitchers, too. If the pitchers like throwing to him. All right, rookie. I feel like I already have that card. Thank you. Catch good enough. We're loaded every... You guys really are. It's really... Oh, sorry. I hit the camera. It's really sick uh, how much talent you guys have right now. In the pipeline, too. Like, not even just on the roster. It's not fair. I don't like it. Salvi. Always liked him. George Springer. Oh, there's a trout. What the hell does that say? Private issue. That's a good thing, right? I don't know anything about this. Uh, 
Hood's numbered. 226 out of 250. That's nice. I'll take a numbered trout any day. Uh, we use the DH to give people the day off the field. Yeah, that's true, too. When you have that many guys that rake, uh, the DH becomes a uh, very important fluid position. Jake, oh, wait, that's a rookie. Jake Cave rookie. I don't know anything about Jake Cave. Didn't see the Twins much this season. Uh, the Trout is a something gallery private issue. Trout, Mike Trout, number. Plus, we need to make room for Cutier when he comes over. Okay. What's up, the hobbyist? How you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. Uh, Brian Reynolds, rookie. I almost, I don't really want to sleeve that. Luke Voigt. Mitch Hanniger. Ugh. Yuck. Is anybody a Bryce Harper's fan? You're back? Good. Did I see you earlier? I'm sorry. My, uh, my brain is not operating at its fullest. I'm tired. This the breaks. Can you show that trout off for a second? Sure. Of course I can. I'd be happy to. Hold on. There he is. Here is Das a Trout. And turning. 226 of 250. Try to get that number to come in clear if you want to look at the number it says 599 i believe 6599 it's a nice card in fact i should probably sleep it right now oh somebody already said that yeah i promise you i take good care of them it's just it's tedious to do it right away every single time Looks like a 10, I guess, maybe. Beats me. It's a nice card. You can stare at my trout all you want, man. Yeah. Give shit about it. He doesn't play for the Red Sox. I mean, he's probably the best gener best player of this generation by far, but... You can stare at him if you want. I'll put him right there. Wait, you can't see him right there. Mm, can't see my. He's. I'm not showing him. Screw him. <clears throat> did you get? Did you see what you wanted to see? On that trout. Um. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not taking anything away from him. I think he's extremely talented. I just. I hate to see when somebody like a generational talent is stuck on a team. That's not going to do anything. I just, it's such a waste. Because he's so good. Brandon Lau. Uh, Peralta. Akuna. Akuna. Matata. I see Barry Bonds. That's a cool card, except for I think that's Manny Machado with him, which makes me want to bomb it. You're very welcome. Art by Jean Jean Caspero. Jean Caspero. He did a good job. It's not a bad painting. It's very good. I like this, except for oh, it's Tony Gwynn. That is not a good. Would anybody have guessed that was Tony Gwynn? I thought it was Barry Bonds for sure at first glance. This is not a great drawing, painting, whatever that is. That is not quality. And that was Pete Chato with him. Yeah, Pete Chato. Uh, the Angels just need pitching. Yeah, they're not... They're just not great. It's the Padres. Yeah, I know, but it looked like the Giants. I just don't think it's a very good uh, depiction. Oh, there's McNeil. With a slightly terrifying grin. I just like the same guy. I like. I just like a lot of people. 
I meant to say when Mookie comes over. Oh, that's not funny. Uh, looks like Barry before the Royds. Yeah, thank you. You're right. It's horrible. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm not going to bet on anything, Jason. You know how many times I've said that guy's not going to go be a Yankee, and then they turn around and they're a Yankee? I'm not doing that anymore. Fool me once. All that, that jazz, man. I'm not playing that game. Uh, Scherzer. Very talented. Darvish. Meh. Chavis rookie. Yes. Uh, Jake Bowers rookie. That's not terrible. What the heck is this? Featured artists. Oh, these are uh, these are the artists that... Uh, okay. That's cool. They have their own cards. Kind of jelly. I like that. Miggy. Never been a big fan of Miggy. Um... Going to NY, they won't be able to afford him and keep under the tax. Probably true. Uh, we don't want to pay him. He wants to try the process. Go to Atlanta. Interesting. That could be an interesting turn of events. Um, he'll care about the luxury tax. Cashman a blank check. That's true. They are always in the tax. Bastards. I can't say anything. Boston's usually pretty close or over. Not like the old days. Harold Ramirez, rookie. He's a Marlin. I am going to sleep that, but it seems like a waste of a sleeve. Josh James, who cares? Yelich. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good depiction of Yelich. Not, oh, hey. Look at that. I jinxed myself. I got a goddamn Marlin autograph. Talk crap about the Marlins. That's what you get. You get a crap Marlin auto on a sticker. Crap Marlin sticker auto. That, that's what they should name the rename this product. Crap Marlin auto sticker auto. That's what it should be. Uh, there's times you stay under. I've seen it. I know the strategy. Stay under and the penalty reset. Percentage resets. Yeah. Chris Sales killing you. He had one bad year. I'd hardly say that he fell off. Now, if he sucks this year, then yes, you'd be accurate. But he was a stone cold killer two years ago. So, Pablo Lopez. Somebody strike up the band for Pablo freaking Lopez. Trent Thornton. I'm going to take my aggression out on Trent Thornton and not sleep him. Uh, Price. And Price is not a terrible pitcher either. He's definitely overpriced. Hit the live button. <laughs> Jason Matthew. Yeah. Oh, puke. Sever, you know. Reese Hoskins. I've seen so many of his rookie card. It's so weird to see a card of his without a rookie shield on it. Live button. He's saying that you may be behind, Jason. You move the cursor over. Make sure you're all the way to the right. Because you might be a little bit behind. It happens sometimes when it uh, buffers. Dakota Hudson. I gotta say, so far I'm not uh, overly excited about this box. I will tell you that. Hold on, let me sleeve this auto and throw it against the wall. Aaron Judge auto? I might actually throw up if that happens. No, Jason, not live chat. You're good, man. Don't worry about it. Talking about this stream like the. You're good. Lots of packs left. I know, but Jesus. Come on, dude. I'll tell you this right now. I don't even have a Marlins fan. Like, I try to get somebody from every team, right? At least one. So that I always have somebody to send the stuff I don't really want to. And I don't even have a Marlins fan. You're on a phone? Then double tap. Double tap the right side of the screen. To make sure that you're caught up. One double tap should be 10 seconds. 
Uh, that's freaking hideous. Just don't throw up on the cards. I'll throw up on the cards if I want to. Dude, if I want to. If I want to. Oh, come on. Christian Stewart. It, is he really a rookie? I don't know why. I feel like he's been around forever. Lane Thomas crap. Trevor Story junk. It's kind of cool. Kershaw and Koufax. Uh, I wonder if Sean Seaford has this. He's a Koufax collector. I will set that aside for Sean Tiford to see if he wants it. Carson Kelly. Whole lot of rookies. Not any to really write home about so far. Uh, let's see. Let me catch up. NCJ in the house. Good to see you, NCJ. Still take it if it's Judge Auto. I don't know. I might have to sell it. <laughs> uh, you miss Joe Kelly in Boston? Your double tap up to 60 seconds now. Yeah, did you catch up, Jason, or no? Yeah, Sean Tiford has a, a phenomenal channel. That dude puts out content like crazy. And, man, he opens, gets so much different stuff. It's very, very informative. Uh, letting Joe Kelly go. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> he does rip all day, but he also makes like really smart purchases on eBay. Um, Ryan Heasley. It's like every pack has three rookies I could give two craps about. There's one that's good, but ironically, I already had that card. Uh, Blake Snell for... How do I have three Rays fans, no Marlins fans? I know three people that like the Rays which is baffling enough in its own right. This Albert Pujols will go to Spicy Bear. Uh, Mookie will go in the PC for sure. How do I have three Rays fans? What talent? What talent do they have? They don't have any talent. They're, they're only talented in the minors, and he's completely untested. They don't have talent. Talk to me about the Rays. The Rays are garbage. Chris Bryant. There's that Tossis rookie again. Ironically enough, already have it. But it's a great card. It's a beautiful card. Fultinum with Jibwinijits. Ernie Banks is a pretty cool card. I bet Ken F. Cards might like that. He's a Cubby fan. Framber Valdez, I guess I'll put the... This isn't that one dude, is it? No. I don't know. I don't know anything. Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ever see Joe Kelly, News Report, YouTube, pranking the team? Dude, they won 91 games two years ago. I'm not, I'm not talking to you about the Rays, Lou. You can either be a Yankees fan or you can be a Rays fan, but I'm not going to take crap from two divisional teams off of one guy, okay? I'm not going to take crap for you. You're not, you don't get the whole fucking division against my Red Sox, okay? Pardon my French. I think it's the first F-bomb I've dropped all night, but you don't, you're not going to take the whole friggin' AL East against my Red Sox. You can't do it. I draw the line somewhere. The line has been drawn. Trent Mancini, I still feel better. This has got to be just so embarrassing for this guy. If I was on this guy's team, I would get this blown up into like a huge poster and I'd glue it to the wall in the clubhouse so he'd have to look at that every day. Tony Gwynn Masters, that's nice. Pablo. Pablo freaking Lopez again. This is my life. Pablo freaking Lopez. I'm not sleeping him. <laughs> Man. Elkanon in the house. Good to see you, Elkanon. Man, 
if you look, Lou, I love you, man. I do. But if you start talking about the Orioles in here, I'm taking away your wrench and I'm I'm gonna put you on silent for 300 seconds or whatever the hell it is. Look at what you did, man. Talk about the goddamn Orioles, and that's what I get. Very next card, Cedric freaking Mullins. Hip hip hooray. That's the kick in the crotch of collecting right there is the Cedric Mullins. I blame that on you, Lou. Blame it on you, my friend. <clears throat> Doing good. Got my... Re oh, man. I finally redeemed my redemption. And uh, we'll see. Still haven't heard anything. You going to go live? Yeah, I hope he does. Remember to hit that like switch. Oh, thanks, buddy. I don't know how many I have. Dislikes are also openly encouraged. Express yourself how you feel. I became a simpleton and can't open a pack of cards all of a sudden. There we go. All right. This freaking... What is he, 80? 80? Why is he an old man in this picture? Isn't this guy in his 20s? Like, look, he's like two years from Father Christmas. What is going on there? That's terrible. Not good. Not very good at all. Kyle Tucker, that will be going to Aranya Boys. Paul Goldschmidt, that will be going to Kevin's card collecting because he really likes Paul Goldschmidt. Because he used to be on the Diamondbacks or whatever. Oh, Kevin. Okay, sorry. That was funny. Uh, next year, I'm going to try to buy PSA 10 John Wathen rookie card. That'll be interesting. I'll just... Just got home. Okay, good. Truth! Hope you're having a good day. Can't stay long, but wanted to say that you're... Oh, you're a sweetheart, dude. I hope your day's going good. It's not the worst thing to be busy. Oh, this is numbered. 93 out of 99 for Nicholas Castellanos. And a Pete Alonzo rookie card. Big meat Pete. A little overrated in my opinion. Uh, looks like a Milwaukee's. It does. It's pathetic. Like, who who okayed that? Who's Who's sitting there going, yeah, yeah, it looks just like him. Looks just like him. What's up, Hobby? Good to see you, Hobby. The number was 93 out of 99. Yes, everyone say hi to Hobby. Always good to see Hobby. Another pack of bites the dust. Ooh, Otani. It's not bad. Uh, Kyle Freeland, Elvis Luciano. How many rookies do the friggin' Blue Jays have? Well, Mark McGuire, that'll go to Parker. Parker, where are you? You just got another uh, Mark McGuire for your collection, buddy. And Danny channeling his innermost Sabo. Seriously, you put a red symbol up there, it's not far off. It's not far off. Um, I'm behind, but nice Pete Alonzo. How is 53 hunt? Dude, Lou. Oh, uh, I'm just going to block you so I don't see what you're writing. Or crap. Ginger mullet or crap in his pants. It's debatable. I'm confused. Who crapped their pants? And why do I want to know? Kevin Newman. This is... Ugh. I thought this guy was a rookie this year. He doesn't get a rookie badge. Weren't you going on and on about this friggin' guy the other day? I don't know. He's a Yankee. Who cares? Dennis Santana, who buys hats for adult people when he has a midget head, apparently. Look at the size of that hat. It's a big hat. Pee Wee Reese. 
I don't, I don't know what Pee Wee Reese looks like, but that works for me. And Whit Merrifield. I actually really like this kid. Um, crap, his pen is suspended. Well, no, love you, bro. I love you too, man. Uh, next year, Pete Alonzo hits 55. Really spicy. Additionally, spicy bear. Spicy bear does whatever a spicy bear does. Welcome. It's good to see you. Uh, I pulled a pool holst for you earlier. It's right over there, but I'm lazy and I'm not going to reach four inches and get it for you. Plus, it kind of ruins the surprise. Got to run, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right, Truth. Be well. <clears throat> Be very well. Uh, Reese McGuire. Michael Kopech. That's not terrible. There's a Keston. Didn't have the Keston out of here. Very happy about that. Are you freaking kidding? Machado gets two of these goddamn cards? Pardon my French. I mean, it's got Tatis on it, so that's lovely, but I mean, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Can we just get this reprinted like this? That'd be better. Not a bad pack. Down to two packs. Two packs and a box loader. Sheboygan. Uh, Pujols, yep. It's huge box that came in. Machado's crap. Yeah, I hate. Be cool if Tatis was beating him with the bat. Yeah, that would be cool. I can't stand Machado. What do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be in this pack or this pack? The auto. I have a feeling it's going to be in this pack. Um. I love how 37 would be a down year back in the day. Oh, Jesus. Are you still talking about this? Uh, make a mini card cut Machado out? No. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. Um, you think it's going to be in the right pack? This one? Lou Rock says left. I think it's this one. On the right, well, let's try this one. That's the one I think it is, so we'll leave that one for last. We'll see if uh, if y'all are right. Let's see. I'll open y'all's first. Like snow on the back, never a good sign. Unless you're one of the apparent millions of friggin' Rays fans all of a sudden. What was that, Darius? Nothing to write home about. Uh, Matt Chapman, very solid player. Shame he's in Oakland. Um, Ponce de Leon. Oh, there it is! Ugh. Ugh. I just vomited a little. Parker, are you still here? Merry Christmas, Parker. Merry Christmas. And Blake freaking Snow. Good job, you guys. You guys nailed it. You guessed the right one. Oh, there's Bobby. Yeah, go race. Uh, they should make relic cards with built-in solar panels and LED lights for backgrounds on borders. <laughs> Spicy. What would we do without you, man? Your most visited ballpark is Tropicana? That's because they give away tickets. All the time. My um, The one on the left looks better. I thought it did, too. Cardinals version of Cedric Mullins? I don't know. But Parker, it's yours. Merry Christmas. Um, it'll be, you'll get it eventually. It'll be on one of the packages. Now I have huge hopes for that friggin' box topper because if that box topper doesn't blow my hair back, then this was not a, not a good buy. Definitely not a good buy. We shall see. Mike Clevenger. I do like Clevenger. He's a good pitcher. Uh, Lewis. Luis. 
Oh, no, I don't even know. Jose Altuve. Oh, this is nice. That's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. It's out of 250, 231 out of 250. That's not terrible. It's not a bad card. Dan's in the house. What's up, Dan? How you doing? Uh, I might be a little late. The girls and I are going downtown lights video. I think gallery has been rough. Not a great set. Eh, is what it is. Lou, that's your last one, bro. The next one, the next time you talk about the Rays in here, you're you're gone. Okay, you can't. You don't get the whole East. You're either going to be a talk to me, talk crap to me about the Yankees, or nothing at all. Okay, you're killing me. You don't get the Rays too. All right, it's your last one. Hey, Paige, good to see you. Um. I pulled a Tatis Redemption out of high tech, number to 99. Ugh. Ugh. That's a nice hit. That's a very nice hit. I think Tatis uh, is going to be solid for quite some time, as long as he stays healthy. So that's it. That's easily the best card out of the box, in my opinion. By far. The Tatis. That's it. So far, I mean, I guess the box top box loader might be really good. It might be absolute crap. Yeah, I have a shirt that says the same thing about the Yankees, Lou. I cheer for two teams, the Red Sox and whoever's playing the Yankees. Cedric Mullins, how did that get over there? All right, let's do it. It's the last thing out of that box. I gotta be honest. Don't spend don't spend eighty dollars on this. You just don't do it. Um, unless you really loved everything I just opened, I wouldn't recommend it. Cause you shut your filthy mouth, you filthy mouth sob. If this is Ryan on her, and I'm gonna crap my pants. I pulled a nice Keston Hero Auto to ninety nine. Out of the Walmart retail boxes of Topps Chrome. I almost bought some Topps Chrome. We got to talk tradesies on that Tatis. Okay. Oh, wow. There you go. There you go. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, that's the only time I'm ever buying one of those. That'll never happen again. And that's it. I got a big pile of rookie cards, most of whom are absolute crap. I mean, it's a big pile of rookies. Rookies, and there's a couple of stars in there. So, like, these are absolutely in inconsequential. So, out of the whole box, these I could care less about. These are all, you know, kindling. Right? And then there's a little tiny stack over here of cards for people. And that's that's 80 bucks right there. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Uh Ryan Brookie. Uh I've had good luck with Topps Chrome. Yeah, I almost bought the I almost bought the jumbo of that instead. And now I feel like I probably should have. But that's all right. Uh the walking Maybelline commercial. Oh, yeah, you're talking about Thor? He's a solid pitcher. This is a terrible pitch. Look at He's got crazy eyes. What are you doing with my lawnmower? Come on now. He doesn't look like that. It's a cool box stopper. I'm sure some Mets fan or somebody will want it. It's going to be a pain in the butt. I'll have to go get one of those giant friggin' top loaders again. Bye, Paige. Thanks for stopping in for three seconds. Uh, looks like his last colonoscopy for real. It's terrifying. It does look like one of his eyes is popping out. I have one more box that I threw in a mega mixer number six for free because I didn't like it. Yeah. 
Um, I really liked, uh, I really liked gallery, but I've opened a lot of the clearance packs and gotten a lot of good hits out of there. And I think I'm going to stick to that. It was three minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I would recommend, at least in my case, in my, uh, in my experience, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for for clearance packs on gallery from now on. Uh, gallery and archives probably need to go away. I like archives. It's heritage. I don't really care for. I could I could see heritage go away. That wouldn't bother bother me in the slightest. All right, Lou, love your face. I should have just sent this whole friggin' box to Lou. He would have pulled nine fucking Tatis autos out of here. I don't like Heritage. I just don't. I like the archives. I think I'm partial to it because they had the they brought back the ninety three design. And I probably opened more nineteen ninety three tops than anything else in my life. Because that was, you know. It's really when I was collecting as a kid. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. You don't like archives much either or heritage. Yeah, I don't care for heritage. They don't archive heritage is awesome. I know the high number was awesome this year. Yeah, the regular was garbage. You're absolutely right, Dan. The high number was not bad at all. I'm 34. Why are you asking me that? It's awkward. I'm in Michigan, which isn't better, but I shipped cards to Bobby and it's taking forever. Yeah. It's that time of year. Like if you mail anything right now, you're literally clipping, you're flipping up coin, man. I haven't done the channel card reveal yet. Hobbyists. Let me, let me just sneak into the back cave real quick here. I do have the channel cards. They are here. They're right here. Um, uh, I don't, I'm not a big, I've never owned any fire. Oh, what my kid era. Is. Okay. I see why. Um, I've never owned, I think I have maybe a couple of fire cards, but they were sent to me or I got them in a break. I've never opened it myself. Not really here, but I'm willing to listen. You just can't. Okay. Uh, what up everyone? Hope you're all having, Hey, four leaf. Good to see you. I read your comment before I read who wrote it. Yeah. I, I've seen a lot of fire open. I'm not terribly impressed with it. I just, I'm not. Okay. So I'm going to reveal this. I'm going to reveal it. I'm really proud of it. Uh, it's one of the designs I like the most is 86 tops, especially with the black and the red, the Red Sox. This is the phenomenal friggin' uh, drawing that uh, Reindeer did for me. Um, so I'm really happy with it. It says YouTuber down there, rookie card. There's 50. I got 50 of them made up. Um, there will only be 49 leaving because I'm keeping one because I freaking love it. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, so there it is. There's the channel card. It is out. It has happened. Hi, Tina. I'm glad you like it. I'm very glad you like it. It came out really, really good. I think that the, the fact that it was a black and white it's a black and black and white picture and then just the black and white of 86 tops. And I, I love 86 tops. So I don't know. I thought it came out really, really well. I'm very, very happy with it. They are from tops. You can order them right off the website for leaf. Uh, Lou, you you're yeah. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm going to try a couple different colors. I think red would be probably the best. So I agree with you there. 
Uh, need to work on getting some cards made up as well. Uh, Four Leaf, you can go on the website and play with it, and it'll show you the different designs and stuff. And then that way you can, it'll help you when you're trying to figure out what, like, if you want to do a logo or something like that on there. Uh, I'm not selling them. They'll just get, they'll get sent out, hobbyist. In fact, I'll put one in your, uh, I'll put one in your Pictionary winnings, since you're being so cool about me taking forever to get it to you. Is that okay with you? Uh, Four Leaf, uh, Isaac, the Prince of Tijuana, Z- Zylanovsky. I butchered his last name. Uh, I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. He is a graphic designer for uh, like uh, mountain bikes and stuff like that. So he knows how to do that kind of stuff. I just got lucky and Reindeer was watching my stream one night and was sketching me which now sounds like a Titanic moment, which I'm totally okay with. Uh, I need a little, yep. No, I meant how much did, oh, how much did Top Charge? Uh, I don't remember. The prices are on there. Just go play with it. You, it's not till the very end where you have to finalize your order. Yes, Isaac did do Pop J's logo as well. He sent me one that I wanna I wanna tweak it a little, but I really liked it. It's on my banner. It's the picture on the left of my banner. What are you shaking your what are you shaking your head about, Jason? You okay? You right, buddy? I should probably put one of these in top letters so I can just look at the one. This will be the first top loaded. I just can't give away all 50. Like, I'm too greedy. I'm too selfish. I have to keep one of these. I wonder if everybody does that. It came out really good, though. I couldn't be more, uh, I couldn't be more pleased with it. And then there's some crap on the back, but yeah, if you get one, you can read it. It came out really good. I'm very, very pleased with it. Worth every penny. And they got him out to me quick. I feel like it was less than, it was, it was about a week. I feel like it was only a week. I put in the order and they came right away. It was crazy. Um, John, very awesome card. That's awesome, man. Thank you. I would totally keep one of my own, probably three. <laughs> you collect everything in threes. Go, oh, reindeer. There's the man. That's all you, Bubba. Look, you're even right there on the back. Wait, focus you. Art by Reindeer Studios, bro. Don't play with me. I love it. Reindeer, this is all reindeer. Like the picture that he did just sells everything. It's perfection personified. And the fact that it's black and white, it works with the 86 tops so incredibly well. So incredibly well. I'm glad you love it too. I'm going to send you one if you, you know, just so you know. He is my inspiration. I'm not ashamed to say it. I sent it in a pretty nice little case, too. Couldn't believe it got here as fast as it did. And it was very reasonable. I don't feel like it was expensive at all. It's a, such a great card. It's really, really good. I don't, I don't know how much better it could have come out. I really didn't have to do anything. I literally just uploaded that picture onto the website and got it put in a decent spot inside the frame. And then, boom, I was done. I had to type up the crap on the back. But that was it. Super easy process. And like I said, it got here super fast, and it looks phenomenal. I mean, it looks like a legit 86 Tops. I mean, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like an 86 Tops. It feels like a reprint of an 86 Tops. 
Yeah, pirate. I mean, it's so fast. I feel like I put the order in, and it was it was here. It was insane. You feel like poop? I'm sorry, cause I'll talk to you later. Twenty is ten bucks. Yeah. How much is shipping? I don't know. It probably it's probably like fifteen or sixteen dollars after tax and everything. Got to go take my nephew to Star Wars for his birthday. Yeah. Man, I should have gone and watched that today. Have fun. Don't tell me anything about it until I watch it, and then I'll talk to you about it. I need a logo. Any availability. Uh, email him. Four Leaf. I'm sure he won't have any time until, yeah, until after the holidays. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, his email is on his About tab. On his page. Uh, yeah, to get them custom cards, it's a super cool thing. It'd be a great gift. Um, take my Star Wars. Okay, I'm all cut up. We'll do good. Uh, another thing you shouldn't do is don't buy the jumbo of Tops Gallery. Definitely not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Yeah, have fun at the movie. I'm really jealous. I really, really wanted to go see that, but I just had too much other crap to do. You were asking Mountain about him. Has Mountain done them? Did he make a channel card yet? Quite a few people have. I have three of them. You bought four gallery jumbos for Christmas. Uh, return them? Return them now? Return them twice? He hasn't. What's wrong with the jumbos? I paid $80 and and that's what I got. And then the other auto was some cardinal. I don't remember. Pulled more autos out of the packs than the monster. Yeah. I enjoy the clearance. When I find them on clearance, I buy them. He wants them but doesn't have them. They're super affordable and the website turns them around so fast. I mean, Tops got them out to be so quick. And they're quality. They're worth every penny. I couldn't be more pleased. I really couldn't. I really love them. Uh, I look forward to doing more releases of them. But I fear that I will never top the gorgeous rookie card. But we'll find out. I also just realized that I've been on here for an hour and I've been on top chat the whole time. You got them for $59.99. That's better, but still, I didn't get 60 bucks worth of value out of this. I created a year two card already. Nice. Well, that's fantastic. What did Tops do about what, Jason? What did Tops do? Huh? I don't get you. I'm confused. Um, 13 watching. 13 likes. You guys are awesome. What's Tops sending? I don't... When they ship my cards, they shipped them fast. That's all I said. Tops didn't send. I mean, I guess they sent the cards. That's what you're talking about. I don't know. Um, yeah, not terrible. I guess I could open that. Uh, I got one more Fairfield. And then 14. I didn't like it. Oh, that's fine. You can dislike it. One or the other. That's all I ask. I don't care if you like it or not. I just want you to click one of the buttons. I just like the clicks. Uh, what's top sending? Oh, on redemption cards? I don't know. I got some rookie. 
kid. I don't know. I've never heard of him before, but hopefully he'll be the best thing ever. Uh, I'm building a master set of 2018 gallery. Only going to do the base set for 2019 gallery, but going to get some artists' autos this year. I've been digging Kevin Graham's videos. Okay. Pilly Mama! What's up, darling? How you doing? You always forget to hit the like until you leave? Oh, well, at least you remember to do it when you leave. That's always a good thing. Let me turn this over here. Get all the Christmas cards in there. This is as Christmassy as I get right here. There's like one, two, there's seven cards over there. That's it. That's my Christmas. I don't need any more Christmas than that right there. I'm okay with it. Where did I put that Fairfield? Oh, here it is. It's not even a good Fairfield. It's just junk. Just junk with another one of those Donner's packs in it. How do you make a channel card? It's very, very easy, Pilly Mama. You just go to tops.com, T O P P S.com, and uh, make yourself a profile. You know, give them your email address and all that crap. And then it's it's an option right off the main menu. It'll say custom cards, something like that. And it's very easy. It's like five steps. You upload an image. You pick out a border. You locate the image inside the border. You type something on the back if you want. And then you put your order in, and it's over. And it, they have it to you in like seven to ten days. It's ridiculously fast. Um... What's on the to do collecting list for 2020? In 2020, I'm getting a Carlton Fisk rookie card. I am getting a gorgeous uh, Wade Bog. I have to finish my Wade Boggs rookies. I think I'm missing two. Uh, I want to say it's the Tops and the Fleer. I don't know. I have to look at it. Uh, what else in 2020? Oh, I'm going to get an Andrew Benintendi auto. That is going to happen. Uh, so those are my three. I gave three. That's all I'm going to give. Uh, I'm back. Just can't stay away. <laughs> I'm driving home. Be careful. Urban's back. Hey, Urban. Skipping Christmas. I don't blame you, Jason. I'm ready for Ju I'm ready for it to be January again. Oh, my God. My TV just uh, came on by itself. That's lovely. I'm being haunted by Netflix, apparently. Uh, Urban, what do you got going on, man? How you been? Yaz Rookie and Brady Rookie are on my hit list for sure. I think I missed out on Brady. He It's so expensive now. Um, no home internet, no break tonight. Oh, that sucks. It's okay, though. Your place is haunted. So lucky. I love ghosts. Really? Um, I'm, I'm pretty undecided on ghosts. I don't love or hate them. Uh, your ISP closed down. Yeah, you guys are speaking French to me. Now, Forley, if you're talking about an actual Carl Yaz rookie, that would be lovely. Everyone watch my awesome score 91 video. It's worth it. Some of my finest work. <laughs> Good old 91 score, man. Um, I kind of don't want to open that Fairfield, to be perfectly honest. I'm thinking about taking a break and going back and watching Striker. Striker had me cracking up earlier. Fact, let me pull that up real quick. There it is. Christmas break rip a rip a palooza. <laughs> oh my god, it cracks me up. Um, let's see here. Everyone, yeah, the big boy one. Hey, pirate. I think they did. 90 
Donruss goat. Budget will be about three hundred dollars. That's man, you can get a really nice one for that. Because I need content, Lou. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Took the words right out of my mouth. Um it is trash, absolutely. Now the the Walgreens that I stopped at today was on my route. Like that was the way that I was going and I wasn't going anywhere else. So I stopped, but they don't carry anything other than the hundred count pack. Now I have another Walgreens that I go to that's a little out of the way and they carry the, what is it? Hot corner. Yeah. It's hot corner that you can get there. So, um, the prime packs is only target and target never freaking has them. So, Um, yeah, this is what it is. Uh, my recommendation on 2019 gallery, don't buy it. Don't buy the jumbo, buy the fat packs, get them on clearance. It's totally worth it. It's a fun product. Uh, you pulled an auto from the football jumbo today. I pull autos out of them all the time, but they're just all garbage. Prime packs. Every prime pack I've opened was killer pirate. Stacy, hey darling, how you doing? What did I get for the autos? I got Pablo freaking Lopez and uh, I don't know some other guy. Uh, what's it? Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon from uh, the Cardinals. So crap. I got crap. Um, Isaac with the name change. I'm glad you didn't change the picture because I would have had no idea who you were. Good to see you, Isaac. JT's in the house. Good to see you, JT. Uh, how much worse could it have been? Do you do you even know who this guy is? Who the hell is this guy? He plays for the Marlins. I mean, who cares? I don't think it could have been much worse. I'm doing good. My blood results came back in the treat. Yes, good. I'm happy to hear that. That's phenomenal. Cedric Mullins. Yeah, somebody said Cedric. Somebody talked about Lou did. Lou mentioned the damn Orioles earlier. And the very next card I pulled, Cedric Mullins. Uh, dual Cedric Mullins autos, you know, with as much as he signed, I wouldn't be surprised if he screwed up and signed two sides of a, of a double auto. It's very possible. You guys rock, man. Thank you, Lou. Already 19 likes. And I don't know where my trolls are. I don't see any dislikes yet. I'm sure they'll show up. Doing well as can be expected. That's good to hear, man. That's all anybody can really do. You would buy what off me? These crap autos? One of them is going to uh, Parker because he's a Cardinals fan. <clears throat> as for the Marlins, I mean, nobody's a Marlins fan. I don't know anybody who's a Marlins fan. Ah, uh, sorry. I needed a drink. Waiting on surgery date. Jesus. I'm sorry to hear that, man. The Marlins are garbage. Uh, you're going to troll the trolls. Honestly, I don't mind the trolls as long as they don't attack anybody other than me. Or just do the mindless, like, cussing in chat. It's just boring. Be original. If you're going to troll, bring your A-game. That's all I ask. Oh, my nose itches. <clears throat> So I was going to do the panel now, 
but I'll be honest, I really want to smoke and uh, probably make some dinner real quick and then get back on later. Um, so if you guys aren't doing anything later, come back. Uh, the camera will be facing the other way. Have some people on, chit chat, see how everybody's holidays are going. You know what would be cool if MLB had fan game day where one day a year fans could randomly pick to play a game instead of instead of the pro teams and get paid for it. Uh, that'd be crazy. I want the Tatis. Text me, Phil. I'd like to unload some of these whack. You want the Tatis? It's yours, Dan. It's yours. I'm not worried about that Tatis. Later, asshole. Thanks a lot, John. Uh, yeah, Lou, love to have you on, man. If you want to jump on, anybody's welcome, really. Um, but I need to get, I need to get everything handled for the rest of the day. It's not in his about section. Hold on. Are you sure? Do you know that for a fact? Um, actually here, you know what? I have Gmail opened and I have his email. Um, yeah, I have his email and, uh, for leaf, I have your email as well. So I will just email you his email because I don't want to give his email out on the uh, chat if he doesn't have it listed on his page. I know you're playing, John. And I love you too, buddy. Yeah, it'll be the same thing. I'm on StreamYard right now, Lou. I just didn't, I don't have the laptop going with the video. So technically, this is a guest. Like, what you're seeing is from a guest. No, yeah, I know, Dan. I'm okay with a trade or whatever. But... I mean, don't feel like you have to make a killer trade to get it because it's yours. I don't really care. Um, yeah, four leaf. I'll shoot that over to you right now when I uh, as soon as I get off, because otherwise I'll forget. Um, check down. Yeah, you just showed up, um, but I'm going, and I love that you put the accent on the end, so it's a stache. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to be on here in a little while. Uh, I'm not going to give it time because last time I gave it time, I was an hour off of that time, and I don't like that. But I will go live again here in a little while. I'm going to eat dinner and get settled and stuff. Uh, for the uh, email incoming, bro. Email incoming. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, I'm okay with a killer trade, Dan. Uh, I love you guys. I will see you shortly. We will do a panel, and it'll be fun. Okay? Asta.